what's up guys welcome back to another video my name's hunter if you're new here uh today we're at devil's den and we have been here since last night we're doing a little camping trip so uh let's rewind it and i'll show you how we got into this underground cave spring one of the coolest places i've ever been all right everyone we just got to devil's den in north florida I'm on the boardwalk right now, and if you look over here, it doesn't look like much right now, but there's a giant hole in the ground. And there's actually an underground cavern that has a spring in it. So we're gonna be diving this tomorrow. It's called the Devil's Den, and it's gonna be super freaking cool. There's an entrance over uh, that way, but over here you can actually look down, and apparently if it gets cold enough outside, there will be, uh, steam coming up out of this hole. So hopefully it gets cold in the morning and the devil's den is steaming. Echo! All right, let's go set up camp though. Come on. All right, we're coming through this archway and the entrance to the cave is actually right here. They got it locked up right now. I think they walk it around five or so, but uh, we'll be in there tomorrow. Hmm. We're gonna go set up our campsite though. Let's go. Okay, we're at our campsite. Time to set it up. Three, two, one. All right, camp's all set up. I'm gonna get a fire going. Uh, once I have that going, I'll, we'll go over tomorrow's game plan and then we'll go diving. So right now I'm just exploring this uh, pond over here and we'll be diving the den tomorrow morning. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of exploring and uh, show you guys around a bit. This place has a koi pond with some big kois in it. I think I like the uh, orange and white ones the best. I saw a bunch of ones even bigger in the main pond over here. So if it does get cold enough in the morning, there's gonna be steam rising off this uh, pond over here and also over at the den itself, which is gonna be super cool. All right, cooking up some dogs and beans. Got a pretty gorgeous sunset going on right now. Okay, so tomorrow I'm going to show you guys the bats in the cave. We'll see. The one just landed over here. Let's see if he flies away. Oh, you can see him right there. Okay. I don't know if this bat's all right. Where is he? He's right there. Oh my God. That was crazy. He like flew into the bushes right there and then flew away. That was kind of wild. He might... He's flying around us right now. He seems to be okay. All right. Well, I'm glad he's all right. He kind of took, he flew right into the bushes. So we just made a nice campfire for tonight. I think we're going to settle down. I'll see you guys when the sun comes up. All right. Just woke up. I'm going to walk over to the den and see if it's steaming or not because it's kind of cold out this morning. Got the fog all over the lake. Really cool. I have all the cats joining me this morning. Apparently the story goes that this is how the hole was discovered. In the early 1800s, uh, settlers saw uh, the steam rising from the hole in the ground. Let's uh, go down to the cave, see what it looks like. Enter in the den. We're the first ones down here this morning, so should have the cave to ourselves for a bit. Ooh, gorgeous. Wow. You can hear it dripping from the uh, moisture on the ceiling. All right, let's go. Wow, I already see some fish in here. Looks like it gets deep over there. So this cave at the deepest step is 55 feet. It's pretty cool to have a whole cave to ourselves right now. One of the theories of how this cave was formed was acidic rain carving out the limestone, which uh, eventually caused this cavern in here. 
The water is actually not that cold because it's uh, cold outside and the water here stays 72 degrees year round. This is awesome, man. Hear that? There's definitely bats in here. I can hear them. Probably where that one came from last night. And there's the hole we were looking down upon yesterday. One way in, two ways in. One way out. Yeah, but that don't count. That's two ways in though. Yeah. <laughs> All right, time to gear up. I got the uh, new mask with the GoPro mount and uh, fins. They actually do not allow a weight belt here if you're snorkeling, so. Hey, this is awesome though. I cannot wait to get in. Uh, I'm gonna put the fins on, the mask, and let's get in the water. Too cool. <laughs> So if you guys are lucky enough and you woke up, you might be able to see some bats hiding in the cave sleeping during the daytime. I haven't seen any sleeping yet, but we did see a couple flying around in here. So they're definitely in here and they definitely live in here. Don't forget to smile, you're on camera too. All right, guys, we're on our way out of here right now. And I just want to say this uh, spring is like no place that there's no place like this on Earth that I've ever heard of. It is a must visit. Highly recommend it. Uh, right now, though, me and Zach are actually going to be heading over to the next spring and we're going to go do some uh, underwater metal detecting. So if you guys want to watch that video, it should be up in a few days. All right, quick pro tip. Once you leave the Devil Den cave entrance, come right over to the hot shower and just warm yourself up. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace. Hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to follow me on Instagram. Check out some of the pictures, get some of the behind the scenes. I'll put a little screenshot of it right over there for you. Appreciate it.